and look at that you can go gradually all the way to 2x and again if you tap on the 2x it will go to 1 quickly hello guys welcome to my channel i am daniel if you are new on my channel you'll see i cover drones a little bit differently here so what I want to do today, I want to talk about people who have black screens when they fly their Mavic Mini or the Mini 2. I want to talk about this famous hype for 4K. This is why you should buy the Mini 2. This is wrong in my opinion and I'll tell you why. And also the 1.2.4, the latest update, is not available for Android on the uh, Google Play uh, Store. So I'll talk about that also. I'm going to fly my drone also over here and I want to demonstrate the new features of 1.2.2 and 1.2.4. Now first thing, you see a lot on the, on the internet uh, the black screen problem or a frozen screen and you might think that oh the DJI F uh, Fly app is not good. I flew before this one, this is the Mini 2, I flew my Mavic Mini hundreds of times. I've been flying the Mini 2 like a lot since it came out uh, a few months ago how many black screens do you think I had zero how many frozen screen while I'm flying zero the point I'm trying to make and nobody talks about that it may not be the app if you have a problem how about your device like try a different device I fly with an old Samsung Galaxy S6 like I said never had a problem fully compatible with the DJI Fly app. Not a single problem. Second point about the 4K. Don't buy a Mini 2 for 4K. 2.7K now at 60 frames per second is better in my opinion than 4K at 30 frames per second. When you do like a panorama or you fly quickly, you get a much smoother video at 60 frames per second. The second reason why you would want a Mini 2, and again, it's not 4K, it is OcuSync. Huge difference. Like before with the Mavic Mini, I would fly around my house, uh, like in a residential area, and I would get every minute I would get warning Wi-Fi interference like all the time and it's not very comforting when you fly and you have this warning message with OcuSync the Mini 2 how many times you think I've seen this warning message zero I, I cannot believe it I never saw a warning Wi-Fi or OcuSync interference with the Mavic oh, sorry the Mini 2 so unbelievable now the 1.2.4 if you have an iOS device like an iPhone it is on the App Store but it is not on the Google Play Store so what you have to do and I'm showing pictures here you go to DJI.com you tap on the three bars in the top left left corner then you uh, select download you choose the app that you want to up update in this case DJI Fly and then you see right there download the APQ file for 1.2.4 and the um, iOS file is also there and there's also a QR code on the side so if you do that on your computer you can use your phone to scan the QR code and then you can download the app or the update on your device now I'm going to fly my drone over here I want to show the latest things you can do with the latest updates one is the compass or the new compass view at the bottom of the screen one is the AEB or auto exposure bracketing when you take a picture you have the option of doing AEB so automatically the drone will take three pictures not one but three one at EV0 one at EV minus 0.7 and one at EV plus 0.7 so if you use a software like Lightroom you can merge the three pictures together and come up with an HDR or high uh, dynamic range uh, picture or a photo so I think this is very very nice and also you can now zoom to take a picture or a video using the wheel 
So I'm going to show that uh, to you here. So let's uh, set up our drone right here. That's the beauty of the Mini 2, uh, the Mini 2 or the Mavic Mini. You can fly indoor, which I'm going to do right here on my table. I would never fly <laughs> my Phantom 4 Pro or a Mavic 2 Pro on my table here. So let's uh, set this up right now. All right, I have the drone ready here, so you will see it when I take off. So everything is uh, clear, so let's go up. Okay, I'm going to move, uh, so you can see the drone. I'm going to move uh, sideways also, right there. And I'm going to move right here. And uh, I'm going to uh, rotate so you can see the bookcase behind me, which will be nicer. To, uh, look at right there yeah that's, this is good like this okay first thing I want to show is the zoom here if you tap on the 1x see it will go to a uh, 2x but if you hold the function button and use the wheel look at that you can go gradually and you can stop any position you want look at that actually I'm going to uh, zoom on the uh, on the tree there and the uh, Ghostbuster car and look at that you can go gradually all the way to 2x and again if you tap on the 2x it will go to 1 quickly so this is a very nice uh, feature now if I go into options over here and I go to photo you can see you can have a single photo you, have, you can have time shot or AED Auto exposure bracketing. So now if I take a picture, the drone will take three pictures, like I said before. Now if I go back to the settings and click on video, 2.7K, and as you can see now we have 60 frames per second. Now let's take a little video. I'm going to uh, do a panorama. You can see the cool stuff I have in the background. And now let's stop this. Let's go back to the second video, this time 4K. And as you can see, the maximum is 30 frames per second. So let's start a little video. Let's do the same panorama. And let's start here. And uh, that's it. Oh, at the bottom, I forgot here. The uh, the new compass view. This is the view here. Shows you north. Shows you the orientation of the of the uh, of the drone. And also, if I was outside, you would see a blue circle showing the location of the uh, of the remote controller with an arrow showing the uh, in which direction it is pointed. So let's rotate the drone here. I'm going to go a bit sideways. I'm going to land here. So like you saw, the video is smoother at 60 frames per second. And really, I have a 4K monitor, and the difference between 2.7K and 4K is uh, minimal. I think the big plus here is having 60 frames per second. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. Goodbye, guys.